iOS 26 just dropped, and while everyone's talking about the new liquid glass design, what's been overlooked by many is a feature that could genuinely protect you from losing thousands of dollars to scammers. It's called call and message screening, and it's about to change everything. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how it works, why it's a game changer for your security, and what you need to do to stay protected in 2025 and beyond. Now let's start with the reality we're all facing. Scam calls and phishing texts have become a global epidemic, and the numbers are staggering, truly. Last year alone, Americans received over 50 billion spam calls. That's roughly 150 unwanted calls for every person in the country. And it's not just annoying, it's dangerous. These scams target everything from your bank account to your personal identity. A single click on a malicious link or one moment of confusion during a fake bank call can lead to drained bank accounts, stolen personal information, malware infections, and identity theft. Now, the problem is that scammers have gotten incredibly sophisticated. They're using AI to clone voices, creating fake websites that look identical to the real ones, and sending texts that appear to come from legitimate companies. Think about it. Your phone holds everything. Your bank details, personal photos, private messages. Scammers are well aware of this, which is why we've been crying out for better built-in security, and Apple has finally listened. So what exactly does iOS bring to the table? Well, Apple has introduced what they're calling call and message screening. It's a feature that Google has offered on their Pixel phones for many years now, but it's unlike anything we've seen before on an iPhone. Okay, so here's how it works. When an unknown number calls you, call screening automatically answers without interrupting you. It asks the caller to share their name and explain why they're calling. Only after they respond will your phone actually ring. You'll see their response displayed on your screen, giving you all the information you need to decide whether it's worth picking up. Think of it like having a personal receptionist built right into your iPhone. Someone who professionally screens every unknown caller and protects you from wasting time on scammers and robocalls. The message screening feature works pretty much the same way. Now, when you get texts from unknown numbers, they won't clutter up your main inbox anymore. Instead, these messages are automatically sorted into a separate unknown senders or spam folder. This is particularly useful for blocking phishing attempts, fake delivery notifications, and messages containing malicious links. You can receive these filtered messages safely and decide what to do with each of them. Mark the sender as legitimate, ask for more information, or simply delete them. The key thing is that these messages stay completely silent until you actively choose to accept them. Now, you might be thinking, didn't iPhones already have some protection against unwanted calls? And you're completely right. But this is completely different from anything Apple has offered before. The old silence unknown callers feature was basically digital earplugs. It would send unknown calls straight to voicemail, but you had no way of knowing if that missed call was actually important. I mean, call screening represents a fundamental shift in how your iPhone handles unknown numbers. Instead of just blocking or silencing calls, your iPhone now actively gathers information from callers before interrupting you. This is huge because it solves the biggest problem with call blocking. You never knew what you were missing. Now, legitimate callers can still reach you by simply identifying themselves, while scammers and robocallers are effectively filtered out. Now, before we get too excited, let's be realistic about what this feature can and can't do. This screening technology is incredibly advanced, but it's not foolproof. Scammers are constantly evolving their tactics, and some sophisticated attempts might still get through. Just remember these four simple rules. Always verify unexpected calls by hanging up and calling back using official numbers. Never click links and messages from unknown senders. Be extra cautious with urgent requests for personal information. And when in doubt, check with the company directly through their official website or app. Think of iOS 26's screening feature as a strong first layer of defense. 
like having a security guard at the front door of your digital life. But you still need good security habits and tools to stay fully protected. Apple's new feature focuses on preventing initial contact, while tools like Certo Anti-Spy can detect if scammers have managed to install spyware on your device. Together, they create a comprehensive security strategy. Okay, so here's how to make sure you're getting the full protection from these new features. First, update to iOS 26 as soon as possible, if you haven't already. The sooner you update, the sooner you'll start getting protection from unwanted calls and texts. Now, to enable call screening, go to Settings, Apps, Phone. Then, under the Screen Unknown Caller section, choose Ask Reason for Calling. And then for message screening, go to Settings, Apps, Messages, and make sure Screen Unknown Senders and Filter Spam are enabled iOS 26's call and message screening really represents a major leap forward in protecting everyday iPhone users from scammers. It's the kind of proactive security we've been waiting years for Apple to implement. But remember, scammers never stop evolving, so neither should your security strategy. Update your iPhone now, enable these new protections, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you're always up to speed on the latest protection methods. And if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to check out Certo Anti-Spy for an extra layer of mobile security. I went ahead and put a link down in the description. Thanks for watching and as always, stay secure.